So for the past couple of weeks now, just about a month, I've been shooting a lot more pets, a lot more dogs, and I've been also taking a lot of photos and videos of my own cats here. And we've got two, two dogs and two cats in this house. The really cool thing is seeing them in their element, but also getting some really nice, just smooth, quote unquote cinematic shots. So this is just an overview. We're gonna throw these clips into DaVinci and we'll edit them together and we'll throw some color on there and we'll see what the final look looks like. If you are better than me at DaVinci, which most likely you are, show me in the comments what your process is as far as editing footage. Today we're gonna to be working with the Canon R5C as the main camera filming the videos. We're going to be using the 24 to 105 f4 for the lens, and we're going to be putting everything into C log 3. So it's C log 3 cinema, Canon Cinema Gamut going into DaVinci Resolve. So let's get to it. All right, so let's start with this shot first. We'll get this one in, and we will get rid of the sound here. I'm going to delete all of the sound. So we've got a shot of Oakley. Let's get the second shot of Circles in there. And we'll just kind of go over these two as far as two different lighting. One of them, for Oakley here, the light, I'm facing more towards the wall that's not in the direct light. So there's some light spilling on the left side and it's pretty dark on the other side. With circles, she had the light coming in from the hallway plus some light on her face. So two different lighting. One, Oakley was a little darker, but we'll see that here. So let's go right to the color page. Let's add a few nodes. And I'm just gonna toss. What I'll do, I will go with, hmm, maybe we wanna go warm for him. Yeah, let's go warm. I'm gonna use Def Director's uh, warm conversion LUT. It's C log to, so let's drop that there. Let's get rid of the LUTs. All right, so we can see just from adding that one first initial LUT, and it's not even a LUT, this is just a conversion LUT really, so it's just giving you a baseline, it's taking you out of C-Log and getting you into Rec 709. So you can really see the difference here. Boom. All right, so let's get Oakley a little bit further along down the timeline, just a tiny bit, with his eye and the hand. Okay, so into this one. Whoop. Uh. Okay, so now I'm gonna bring up my gain just a little bit. I'm gonna see on my bar here, on my uh, scopes, I wanna bring that top section here. Terminology I'm not the greatest with, so bear with me. Ultimately, I want to keep the low end here at just around 512 and my high end no higher than the 3584. It's, it's how I've been doing it. If it's 100% accurate, I'm not really sure. So we'll even go just a little bit above the 3584 and I'm going to drop down my gamma just a touch. Kind of bring it out a little bit, spread out the color and bring up my lift. Alright, so if we go and we remove this one. Alright, so we started with this. Let's take this one off and we'll go to this. So this is where we started. This is the conversion LUT. Boom. And then this is... This one will be our LGG. So we'll know, we'll put a label on this. We'll go lift. Gain. Really, you could just put, I mean, at that point, you could just put LGG. All right, so we're looking okay here. The next step I will take into my curves. So, using the curves is transitioning over from Lightroom, uh, you know, processing raw photos. I still use it. I have a lot of luck with this. In most cases, not all the time. But for me, I really like to mess with this a little bit. So I've got some spikes here. You can see some significant spikes on the high end. And let's see if we take this out. 
not much changed so we'll stick with this we have our scope you can even see that the scopes on this one are just bunched up more towards the middle generally you're gonna want and best practices best practices you're gonna want this as kind of looking like a mountain that's going up but not peaking at any point so you do have some really really lows here in the corner and you do have some spikes I'm gonna try to bring this down just a little bit from the high end take that out just a little bit take this up a touch and bring down there and right around here I'll bring this down just a little bit just to get a little bit more on the uh, my hand there so this one we're gonna label curves Next one. I don't know why I keep doing that. Whoops. <laughs> I'm all over the place today. Okay, so the last one I will do. Oh, I think the image is looking pretty good just there. I mean, it is only. Um, you know, it's, there's not a lot of color in this image. You can see some really cool colors on Oakley here, but as far as the scene itself, there's not a, a too terribly amount of colors. You maybe have, you know, five or six colors, maybe seven from what I see. Two or three of those are very similar in color. So let's give this a little bit of... I'll, I'll touch up the color boost just a tiny bit. The shadow's looking good for me. The gain I'm gonna take a tiny tiny bit of blue introduce a little bit of blue and drop some of the red channel drop a little of the green and take a little bit of the white up and I'm good with that I am not the ultimate color grader so to speak I'm not this you know outstanding color grader I am 100% excited to use DaVinci every day because you eventually get a look on accident that looks really good but it is a process so don't be discouraged if it takes some time in the beginning while you're using DaVinci it's gonna take a decent amount of time to get the hang of it work with one skill at a time that's my recommendation and my very very humble opinion so let's get back to this all right so let's see where we're at with this one i like this clip here and we can even go all the way let's start at the beginning here and we'll go full this was c log and this is the final And I think it looks pretty good. You can see some good detail there. He's gonna roll over a bit. Yeah, see, Oakley gets these little things by his eye here. And I wipe them every single day. <laughs> but when, especially when he gets a fresh hair. But you can see a poor little guy's got a little red eye. But, and this is even after wiping, you know, maybe four or five hours ago so but I like this shot let's see if we can bring this exact same look and first I'm gonna label this one as uh, rec 709 conversion so let's see if we can bring this whole right over to circles here we can we're a little bit high, so let's go to our lift gamma gain, and we'll bring this down a touch, just so it hits that 3584, maybe a tiny bit over, and we'll play through this one a bit. I'm gonna even bring down the shadows here, just a little bit. Bring up the highlights a touch in there, and drop the shadows again. And as far as the lift, so I think this will be good. Let's take a look at this everything off and then everything on maybe not the greatest there's very very little color here in this scene as well look poor circles normally get clean eyes so really cool coloring you can see the coloring around her eyes around the nose 
and really nice, you know, kind of blown out background. It's not too blown out, it's only F4 this lens, but the coloring is really good. I like the coloring here. All right, good enough with circles. Let's bring in Oliver and Luna. I don't remember which shot this was. Yeah, I think this shot will work well. Let's bring Oliver in. Get rid of the audio. And let's bring Luna in. One of these shots was pretty perfect. I think this one was the better one. <laughs> yes. Trying to get her to look. <laughs> Trying to get her to look. This is a little wider. <laughs> Let's use this one, it's a little bit bigger of a shot. We've got a little bit more of her. So, let's go back in. Let's get to our first shot of Oliver. Oliver. We'll add a few nodes. We'll go into our first one, we'll hit the LUTs again. This one we might wanna just tweak, maybe wanna change the color a little bit. In fact, I really like this one. I really like the neutral. It has a really good, crisp look. Our scopes are a little all over the place. Again, I'm not a super perfectionist with this. I just want to bring those down a touch, and I'll even stretch out a little bit of gamma and drop the gain just... Maybe actually bring it up just a touch. So we'll do LGG for this one. This one we will do Rec... Uh, Rec 709. And that was neutral, somehow I pulled it off. Okay, now we will go back to our scopes, uh, I'm sorry, our curves. This one I'm gonna bring just a tiny bit up and I'm gonna drop it down just a little bit. Nothing too dramatic. Try to bring in some of that darkness into this area, try to get some of the light away, but not too much of it. I can even pull it back down a little over here so it's a little less. We'll label that one curves. There we go. Okay, so for this one, we'll go in a little bit of the... Well, let's take a quick gander, actually. I think that's pretty good just the way it is. Once again, I am not a... I am not a colorist by, pro by profession. More in the lines of I really enjoy using the color. So I'm going to add maybe just a drop that down a little bit. I really enjoy using the color panel because you can really start to learn a little bit more about. So color boost, we will maybe drop a little saturation out. And so this will be uh, primaries. All right. And that's pretty much it. That is pretty much... That's pretty much the process that I follow when it comes to converting from uh, C-Log to Rec. 709. Once again, I'm not really like the most outstanding colorist, but the more you do it, the more you get better at it. I, from my experience, very bright images, uh, very bright scenes, well-colored scenes, it's a little easier to see the colors right out because if you have a pink and it turns purple, then you know, unless that's what you're looking for. There are some more steps to getting these dialed in even further. And I will make a second video on that, approaching how I would go to the even further level of adjusting it and making it more of a unique look as opposed to a more natural. The goal for these shots is to get them as natural as possible. Okay, now with these slower shots, we're gonna pull the brighter one. We're gonna pull the brighter node tree that we built and we're gonna place that one right on here. But I can already see that I've got some color problems. It's a little too dark on Oliver here. So let us, let us go back into our, you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna reset this completely and we're gonna add a bunch of nodes. We're gonna go with a one stop up. So we'll go one stop, maybe not even. I don't even think we need the one stop. And I definitely don't want the cool. Let's bring the shadow lift conversion in. And let's see where that gets us. Okay. 
Okay, that's a good start. Still a little too dark. So let's bring this up with curves. Let's try to bring this up a little with the curves. I can even bring this way up. It will be a little on the, let's see. Let's see what we get now if we can try to space this out with our lift gamma gain. We'll bring it down just a touch with the gain. We'll bring our lift down and we'll bring our gamma down. And now in here, let's just label this one. For this one, we can now start to play a little bit with the highlights. Bring them down a touch because they're passing the 3584 and we can bring our shadows up just a tiny bit. For this one, I'm actually gonna add a few more nodes. And we will label this one primaries. And for here, let's get a little bit of a touch of color boost, a little bit of contrast, and it's still kind of too dark it's too dark of an image, but I'm okay with it for right now. Let us see where we go with uh, this one. We'll just call it color. Okay, so let's take a look at this with nothing. Little bright, little little brighter, but on the whole, we'll just put this one onto here, and we'll take a look at both of these clips now. Not as wide and excuse the floor there. We ripped up the carpet. It was a bit of a mess. We're going to be doing some flooring, doing like one room at a time. Uh, so these guys are doing their little thing, and the puppies are no longer, they no longer have the grip like they had with the carpet. All right, and then this was the second shot. peeking his head out now <laughs> checking it out what's going on over here saying hey what do you got up there All right so as you can see da vinci is very powerful you can do a heck of a lot in this program you can do so much when it comes to creating a look and playing around with different colors this, these shots I can do in any color I want. I can tone it out any way I want. I can make them super dark and can make them super bright. It's really fun to progress through the process of learning color grading. Thanks for tuning in. Throw it in the comments what kind of, what kind of software you use. Are you a Premiere or are you a DaVinci user? Or do you use Final Cut Pro? And throw it in the throw it in the comments if you know a better color sequence. And I can even make a part two to these exact clips with your color grades. Other than that, I'm gonna wrap this one up now. Thank you for tuning in. To everybody who's new to the channel here or this is your first time stopping by, my name is Kevin Haggerty. I love making content for clients. I love making content for myself. I've been learning this now for just under two and a half years. It's very exciting and I'm coming out of being a mechanic for 20 some odd years and I transitioned into different careers and this is the one I wound up uh, finally landing on. So really excited to be here. Just pumped that you're tuning into this video. If you're down with the video and if you've seen any of the other content or you just wanna you know, stay tuned to any new videos coming up, hit the like and subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you get notified for the next one coming out. Keep your eyes out, I got a bunch of little things coming up. I lost my drone in Tennessee, by the way, so there's not any drone content as of right now. I started making the video and I just, I was so upset with losing it, it kind of just, I put it on pause. So that video will be up as well. And I will be getting a replacement because I do need it for, for my job. So have a good one, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next video.